I'm going to go in Google and I'm just going to type gift guide. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a blog. All right. New York mag. Sometimes I'll, I'll skip the first few like buzzfeed today.com. Good housekeeping. Um, and I'll go down a few goop I, guys. I have never seen the website goop in my life. I've never been to this website. I promise you, like I'm just showing you how simple this window shopping is. So with goop, Let's see. Gift guides. The Traveler's Gift Guide. The Wellness Junkies Gift Guide. Let's go to... Should we go Traveler's or Wellness Junkie? Wellness. Wellness Junkie. All right. Wellness Junkie. I'm hearing more Wellness Junkies. Someone said Traveler's Junkie. Guys, you can't confuse me like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wellness Junkie Gift Guide. Check this out. All I'm doing right now is window shopping. This is it. Now, a lot of these products are going to be saturated, but my point is I'm not trying to I'm not trying to validate right now. All I'm trying to do is find products that I don't know exist. Why do you think these products are listed here? It's because this person that works for Goop and partnership with Hydro and Sakara, who I'm sure is some brand, they know what's popular right now. So I can look through here and determine that there are product. Well, one, there's products I don't know exist, but two, there's probably going to be some products that are new. Now, a lot of these are going to be better mousetrap products. A dry brush. Good Lord, there's a million brushes. I don't need a dry brush, right? I don't need this face massage roller thing. Now, even though this one may be better, it may be pink quartz and ergonomic grip. It's still a face massager. Who cares, right? And I could go to Amazon right now and show you face massager is saturated just because I happen to know that. But as I'm scrolling through here, I'm going to find other things. I told you stay away from like food and ingestibles. But did any of you guys see this? Produce bags? Those are popular. popular. Yeah, they're pretty popular also. So these may be saturated. I don't know, but I'm but but let's walk through the um let's walk through the method anyways. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, they're talking about reusable produce bags. So I'm gonna go to or just produce bags. So I'm gonna go to Amazon. I'm gonna type produce bags. Let's see what's here. Those obviously look the same, right? So produce bags. I can go to magnet and I can type produce bags. So there's more than one way to do this. I can go straight to Amazon or I can go straight to magnet. It doesn't really matter. But I didn't know that people bought reusable produce bags. Me, I would end up leaving them in the car and all my apples would rot and I'd have a stinky produce bag and I have to throw it away. Then it's not really reusable, is it? Oh, stop doing this to me. On really heavy use days on helium 10, sometimes you can type it in twice. All right, so produce bags, search volume of 10,000. That's cool. That's a lot of search volume. But if I hit this little button here that actually goes to the search result, oh, not that button. Where is it? I forgot how to skip to this one. Um, I don't want to skip to those. They've moved, they've removed a button. Anyways, so I'll go to Amazon, just type in produce bags. I can see, hey, there's a lot of options here. Now, don't get caught up in the hype. Don't say, well, these are white and this is plastic. And, you know, that would be like your better mousetrap, like trying to convince yourself you've got a very better variation. The truth is just from keyword produce bags, <coughs> are there a lot of relevant options here? Yeah, everything on here is a type of produce bag, right? So I might dig a little deeper. Instead of produce bags, let's filter down our search volume. And look at, um, I'm going to filter just because it's giving me some irrelevant stuff, bags. Reusable grocery bag, sandwich bags. I'm looking for produce bags, grocery bags, reusable bags, reusable bags, produce bags. All right, that's the same one. Food storage, cycle bags. Again, I'm, I'm looking for relevancy, so I'm going to look for produce. In fact, I'm going to take off bags. I'm going to type produce. Reusable produce bags, 11,000. Produce bags, 10,000. All right. 
So remember on magnet, we typed produce bags and it said 10,000. And this, I'm not saying this is a good product, but I'm just showing you different stuff. But produce bags was 10,000, but check reusable produce bags are 11,000. So you've got 21,000 searches just in two keywords. Produce basket, produce saver, produce storage, mesh produce bag. So this would be relevant, another 3,000. Um, produce bag, I thought we already did that. Oh, that's produce bags. This is singular, 2,000. Reusable mesh produce bag, right? And for each one of these keywords that I determine relevant, I can pop over and I determine if there's a lot of competition or not. Make sense? So already, you know, I know this is pretty, pretty saturated, but just to give you guys an idea of my process, hey, here's a product. Let's go to Amazon and check it. Let's go to Magnet and check it. If I went to Amazon first and I came up with produce bags and let's say it wasn't just page after page after page after page of the same thing. I could click on this listing. Remember, and I could do my reverse ASIN search to get the other keywords that are indexed for this specific listing and use that same filter as I did magnet, produce bags, produce or bags, right? And these results will be different than magnet because magnet is giving me results that are indexed similar to produce bags. This is in showing me what's indexed for the specific listing. So some of the actual results will be different. So sometimes I'll do both. But again, what I'm looking for are keywords with some search volume with really little to no competition, right? And don't worry about like, Tim, is this a good one or not? We'll get to that later, I promise. Right now, I just want to show you this kind of like mind mapping my way through looking at something, going to Amazon, identifying keywords that are attached to it. Following me? Make sense? So Anna's asking, what is the ideal search volume we want to look for? I'm not answering that right now. And the reason I'm not is because it will mess up everything that I'm showing you because in your mind, you're going to immediately start trying to target or you're, you're going to start trying to identify good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. I don't want to do that yet. All right. Okay. But trust me, bear with me. We will discuss it today and we will have a spreadsheet, a worksheet where you're actually going to like walk through this as, as practice. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Another question from Fola. Do you consider number of reviews when you determine if a product is competitive? Step 32. We're still on step three. All right. But generally speaking, no. And the reason people are so bent out of shape about reviews is they're looking at something that's already competitive. It's already saturated and they're trying to convince themselves they can still do it. Crap, it's saturated, but they only have 200 reviews. Man, bump that. Like that's the better mousetrap, right? If we're looking at Yeti products, we should find products that aren't even listed, right? So the reviews are less of a factor. The reviews are a big factor in other types of product research and other products that I'm launching even. Guys, I'm launching a product that is one of the most competitive products in the world. It is, a, it is a cup. It's a whiskey cup. Now, my whiskey cup is a better mousetrap because it is made of reclaimed bourbon barrel wood. Like I'm going, this is a two-year product development thing, right? So again, I'm harping on the Yeti principle, but I'm telling you, I'm doing other things too. Just making sure you understand that. So yes, I will be selling a whiskey cup, but it is made from the wood of seven-year-old bourbon barrels. That's amazing, right? Any of you ever seen anything that cool? So just so you know, this is not like as a do as I say, not as I do thing. I do believe in those things. But when I go to launch this product, yes, I need to look at reviews from the highest competitors. But for Yeti pro uh, products, not necessarily. 